Hello and welcome to YouTube Log, day number 96. This is where I measure and track what's going on behind the scenes, offering up insights on lessons learned. So this is the overview since day number 96, and it's been busy for the past 40 days since the last update on day number 56. I've finished several more advanced Excel tutorials, finished several SQL Server Management Studio tutorials. Both those playlists, they're not quite complete, but they're a lot more filled. I have three or four more I want to do in advanced Excel. And SSMS, I have two more, and then I'll be done with it. And i kind of running out of time. I need to shift and do some stuff at work. Uh, I did some marketing to cross-link each video to at least three external sources. That upranks them on Google, because Google goes out to all the billions of pages on Earth and then looks at all those pages and says, is this video, how many times is it referenced on other pages? And well, now every one of my videos is linked on at least three external sources, and I'll add more over time. And the more I add external sources, the better it ranks on Google. And as it goes up on Google, YouTube is where most of my search results come from, but Google's starting to pick up. And as Google picks up, then that is a feedback loop and helps YouTube start to increment or increase the traffic. So anyway, my daily views have increased from this. Uh, but I'm going to slow down publishing for a bit. I need to do a bunch of time for some training at work. So the next three, four, six weeks, seven, eight weeks, I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'm going to slow down. I was doing two to three videos a week, and now i got to slow it down to one video a week or maybe even slower. We'll see. So looking at the YouTube statistics for day 96 or at day 96 on the overview tab, the red dash bar was day number 56, and now we're all the way out here at day 96. So over those last 40 days, their views, the views are up to over 1,000, which is up from 447, so it's doubled in 40 days. It's good. The watch time has done even better. It was at 28.1 hours. Now it's at 72 hours, so it's 2 point something times better, which is good. And subscribers, still pathetic, 14, but hey, it's up from 9, so it's, it's just slowly incrementing. All these numbers... It'll take potentially years, but they'll just slowly uptick, uptick, uptick. And I just got to keep chipping away at it, building good content, and then more and more people subscribe and link to it. Anyway, it just takes time. Uh, the medium.com article, that was right here. That spiked the performance or the, the viewership, and it dropped off, but it stayed higher than it used to prior to that. Um, and the IBM certification is peaking again the last four or five days. That's fueling this. Part of this is fueled by a resurgence in viewership out on medium.com. And uh, part of it also is because of the self -promo or the promotion that I did by cross-linking videos. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of ideas queued up, but I'm not going to have time to do them right now. But I know this right here points out to me that to get viewership, you have to have good original content and you have to cross-post. You have to have an good article and that links to a matching video. In here I was just posting Excel, and advanced Excel topic stuff that would be useful for science students and college students, maybe high school students. That stuff is slow going because there's so much content out on the internet already like that. But if I get something unique and have an article posted to it, it spikes up. And I have three or four ideas queued up, but I don't have time right now to do them. So I've written them down and I'll circle back. One of them will be WGU and the master's program and all the hours. I have it all broken down. That'd be an interesting one, I think. People like that. It's a data science type of article. And then I have a couple other Excel template ideas that are really good ones. And those will, people, I'll cross-link the templates. Those will get a lot of downloads. Not quite as good as a freeware tool, but actually nowhere near as good. But it'll, it'll turn out good enough. I have a bunch of ideas there. Anyway, that'll come later, not now. Moving along to the YouTube statistics for reach, the impressions in the last 40 days went from 20,000 up to 31,000. The YouTube algorithm, when I had the Medium article spike, the YouTube algorithm said, hey, this might be really taken off. So they threw a whole bunch of impressions. And an impression is where on YouTube over on the right, they say, hey, if you like this article, you might like this one. Or you like this video, you might like this one. So they threw 30,000 at it. and my click-through rate dropped way off. And so YouTube said, yep, people don't want to watch that. So they dropped off the viewership. But it was flat at almost no impressions here, took off, and it reset the mean a little bit higher. But it's still lower than it was. But anyway, the uh, click-through rate used to be 1.3%, which was awful because of this big spike. But now that it's down, 
you, the YouTube algorithm is better targeting my videos to people who are watching other videos saying, hey, if you like this one, you might like this one. So my click-through rate's gone up to 2%. And 2% is a good, relatively good number, at least based on the research I did Googling it. 1.3% wasn't. And I want to see that number go up. I'd love to have it at 3 4 5%, which would mean, hey, YouTube, don't throw up so many impressions. Tie it tighter to the type of material that I'm presenting. Anyway, that is interesting. What else? Yeah, I was... You can't tell here because there's a bunch of change today. So YouTube algorithms off. Maybe tomorrow or the next day when things stabilize, it'll have unique viewers. But I know it was in, encroaching on 600 unique viewers, and that's up from 272. So that's over two two x factor of two. That's good growth in 40 days. But what I was really trying to target is content stickiness. I was trying to get a playlist of topics and have people click through to one, like an Excel advanced topic on simple linear regression, and then see that, oh, there's a multiple linear regression. I want to watch that. Oh, there's a solver. I want to watch that. If that was the theory. It didn't really play out. Uh, maybe if there was a broader audience, or maybe over time, when instructors, teachers, professors see, oh, I like this content, and they put references to it. Over time, maybe that stickiness will come, but not right now. And so the bottom line, what I've learned here, is that having a group of related content doesn't really matter that much right now. So my new hypothesis is it's actually better to focus my limited time to making content that is uniquely mine and not worry about trying to make a whole playlist. So it's, it would be better to make specific, unique content, write a Medium or LinkedIn article, match it up, link it back, cross-link it to the YouTube video. Even if that's disjointed content or patchwork content, the fact that it's unique and good is what would drive uh, traffic more so than having a bunch of interrelated content. So that's an interesting lesson learned. And maybe that's always the case, or maybe that's the case just in the beginning to get a certain level of viewers. So anyway, it'll be an interesting hypothesis. I, uh, I'm gonna be busy for six, eight weeks or more with some changes at work, and so I won't be able to really push that theory, but I might take one of those higher value, unique article content videos, combinations. I might do one of those instead of trying to finish off my other playlists. So we'll see. Because it's an equal amount of effort, but the former, the unique content, has a much bigger payoff, at least right now in the beginning. Regarding the YouTube statistics for engagement on day number 96, the watch time is up to 72.7 hours from 28.1 hours. That's nice. That's more than doubled as well. So that's It's not a straight line. It's slightly geometric progression, which is good. That's what I want to see. I want to see people in, enjoying and using the content. Not and, and the view time is 4 minutes, 18 seconds. My videos are all 10, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So there's a lot of people that just click on, see the intro and go, oh, crap, and they just cancel out. And I've had to redesign my videos because of that and I, I knew that but I didn't want to but man the numbers don't lie so I have to reset them and up front I have to have a 10 second 10 second intro and I'm not going to show my picture I know that would probably help but whatever I want to have a nice flowing diagram that's going to discuss what's going on a graph with some movement or a flow chart that shows what it is we're going to be discussing something that within 10 quick seconds catches the eye and says here's exactly what we're going to discuss if it's Excel and it's a solver, then it's just boom, up comes solver and it's just a quick little animated GIF, whatever, that shows what's going on. Because that captures people's attention and says, here's what we're going to talk about. And then it locks them in and they're curious. If I just have a splash screen show up for 20 seconds, people are just going to go, ah, whatever, i got to move on. There's so many other videos related in the list that they search. And so, anyway, that is why this number is so low. And only the last two videos out of 38 do I have that corrected? So, and I'm not going to go back and reshoot the rest of the videos. So I made my mistakes. They're out there. They're playing, and they're getting viewed. But I need to get this number up, and that's one of the ways to do it. And stay on script. Good God, look at my script here. That's my script for this screen. I was supposed to talk that and that, and look at how off script I went with a bunch of anecdotes and context. And anyway, so where does the time go? Well, after 96 days, there's 37 videos, not including this one, created. Total of 384 hours across 94 days spent on this so far. And 
That's 176 hours spent on videos and 66 hours of overhead. Uh, reading, learning, configuring, deploying, promoting the videos, etc. And finally, the cumulative time. Uh, in a nutshell, per one minute of content creation, per one minute of video time, there's 32.6 minutes of total effort. I can run through all the numbers here. I now have 11.3 total hours of video. That's up from 6.9 hours 40 days ago. The efficiency's flattened out. I was, or I am at 26.2 uh, minutes of video per one minute of video shot. And uh, that's up from 25, so it's flattened out. It, it used to be as bad as 60 minutes, but it's gotten way better. But I don't think it's gonna get squished down much from there. It just takes time to research and write up and shoot the videos. I'm not gonna squeeze it much lower than 25X to 1X, where 25 is the time to produce a video and one is the actual video duration. Um, the overhead time is 6.4 minutes and that's down from 9.5 and it's because in the beginning, the first several videos, I had so much overhead getting stuff figured out and set up and configured. And that number, it'll go down a bit more, but I still, so the setup and learning time has dropped off, but I've been spending time marketing slash promoting videos, figuring out how to cross link them without being insulting and causing problems. You're not supposed to go to other people's pages and in their comment section cross link, that's bad. So I have to find better ways to do it. And there's some interesting ways I found. Save it for a different time. But uh, that is in a nutshell, the numbers. Uh, here is the video since day number 56. Videos 23 through 37 were shot. A bunch of them here, these are just 10 and 11 seconds. These are just quick little videos that have a splash screen come up so it looks nice as the playlist thumbnail. That's all they're doing. But the rest of them are fuller size videos. This one was, oh my gosh, multiple linear regression was over an hour. Ugh. And there's a lot of content, a lot of examples, but oof, that's so long. I try to keep them down in this neighborhood, smaller. Ideally 10 minutes, but they always go over to 20, 25, 30. Anyway, that is the numbers. And the 2020 quarter four numbers didn't change, stayed the same, but quarter one grew. I don't remember what it was before, it grew a little bit. And that's why the 6.4 numbers, uh, minutes of overhead has gone down because these stayed the same and this just grew a little bit. So overall there's this number of total hours of overhead only grew like six hours, but this over here grew by hundreds of hours. Is that right? Hundreds of minutes, I should say. Anyway, that is it for the numbers, and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching, and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and subscribe. Also, check out our other videos and related playlists in the boxes to the right.